Hello and welcome to Book 11 Sons of Glitches, and hopefully the ladies that might be watching, welcome to another comic book haul. This comic book haul was purchased on August 13th, 2016. Uh, we got a pretty big haul today, pretty nice size. Uh, we got a couple of collectibles to show you guys. Uh, first though, I do want to uh, just send a, I guess, a shout out or an RIP. Uh, a farewell, a fond farewell, uh, me being a Star Wars fan, me just loving everything about Star Wars. I do get a little sad, in fact I get very sad when I hear some, uh, some bad news concerning people that worked on Star Wars. And this weekend we lost the lovely Kenny Baker, who of course, you would know, is the man inside the R2-D2 suit. He is the one that brought R2-D2 to life. So I'm a little sad that he passed away, uh, but he was 81. He lived a long, fulfilling life, and I'm sure he was able to be happy in the knowledge that he made this iconic character come to life, and so many people appreciated him because of that. I mean, you just imagine the stories that this guy had, the experiences that this guy had, so, it does sadden me that Mr. Kenny Baker has passed on, but, you know, farewell to him, uh, and thank you, Mr. Baker, for what you did, and may the force be with you forever. So, let's go ahead and get down to the comic book hall. My last haul was about 12 or 15 minutes, so hopefully I can keep this within that range. Uh, so, as I say all the time, leave a comment down below if you wish to discuss anything that I picked up, or if you wish to tell me what you picked up, or if you want to advise me on additional pickups that I should look out for. Uh, and, of course, as always, shout out to the comic book shops that I went to, Dragon Lord Comics and Undercity Comics, um, both in Woodyard, California. And of course, follow me on Instagram. You can see all of my haul picks there. All right, let's get down to it. I'm gonna show off the. Oh. I always underestimate how how big this stack is. So here's the Dragon Board uh, haul. I'm gonna show off what we got here. Uh, and also, I apologize, you know, I'm, I'm throwing this off my webcam. I didn't feel like moving a bunch of stuff around, so I hope the, uh, the lighting is okay. I don't know why the frame rate just dropped. It'll do that occasionally. So, uh, I guess here we go. We start out with some DC Rebirth, and we got Superwoman issue number one. That's a pretty cool color. I dig it. Okay. Next we have issue number nine, six, oh no. Oh no. Come books down. Come on. Stay. Ah. Stay. Stay. And the frame rate dropped again. Hello, frame rate. Okay. Why is it when I move, the frame rate drops? Okay, we have issue number 961 of Superman Action Comics. And I apologize about the glare. Not much I can do. The screen, the monitor, it's right there. Next, we have issue number 4 of Wonder Woman. Part of the rebirth. Uh, series. Pretty, pretty simplistic, but very empowering, empowering look on her. Uh, next we have issue number four of The Flash. Really like this cover. Um, and yeah. So, as, I, as I've been saying, I still haven't made my way to the DC Rebirth titles yet. Uh, I'm still catching up with the numerous stacks of Marvel that I have. Um, but I have started reading 
finally, my Guardians of the Galaxy comics, the ones that are in the current Marvel running, uh, you know, current volume, I, I'm enjoying them. Uh, I do think that I'm going to just, just, I wanted to read some of the DC comics leading up to Rebirth. I'm going to have to just start with Rebirth. Because there's just too many titles coming out, and I want to make sure that I'm reading some of these, so I know that they're worth collecting. But this was definitely a must. This I'm excited about. I have to catch up with the last volume, uh, which I am going to do, uh, because I, I, I really do enjoy this character. And I'm very excited to see... Um, very excited that they're continuing this uh, series, this, you know, this character we have. Deathstroke DC Rebirth. Look at all the blood that's splattered on his on his mask. I love it. So I really like I, I really like this character. I hope that they bring him to the DC Cinematic Universe soon. Once, you know, they get their shit together and then start making some really good films. Or at least I would love to see him come out on uh, some of the animated films. Because we know we're not going to get him on Elo anymore. Which is a damn shame. And then next we have issue number 938 of Batman Detective Comics. Another great cover. I'm glad this is in its rebirth stage because now I can finally start reading these comics. And of course the big one, the most anticipated one. I was definitely looking forward to it. And it's all because of who is writing it. That would be, of course, Mr. Scott Snyder. And we have Batman. All-Star Batman issue number one. Very excited. Very happy to have gotten this. And uh, it's freaking Batman. Written by Scott Snyder. I, I, rec- I, rec- I, I appreciate the guy's reputation, and I know that he, he has a deep love for Batman, so can't wait to read that. But I have to wait, because I have to catch up with my other comics. Alright, so now we go into the Marvel side of things, and as you can see, we got a lot of Marvel. So we start out with, um, some of these are back issues, by the way. I t- Like I said in the last video, uh... We had to kind of set some aside, because these comments are coming out of nowhere, and we love collecting them all, so. Some of these are back issues, this is one of them. This came out a couple of weeks ago, it is The Amazing Spider-Man, with the final chapter of The Amazing Grace series. So, part six, I know that this is the last one. Uh, technically, it's issue 1.6. But I'm looking forward to reading this. Spider-Man uh, is a series I'm going to start on very soon. And of course we have the current uh, comic, the one that came out this week. We have The Amazing Spider-Man issue number 16, Before Dead No More. Awesome. Next we have an annual, which is actually a variant edition. I'm kind of curious what the... Um, the standard edition looks like, and it kind of looks like this is one of those, in fact, I can tell that this is one of those, uh, um, interconnecting comics, because you got, well, I'll show you what it is, we got the all new, all different Avengers annual number one, and as you can see, we have on, an on here, we got an on here, so this definitely has some additional volume. So I'm going to have to look into that. Uh, this is a variant edition, so I don't know what the actual edition looks like, so I'm going to have to look into that. Next we have issue... I'm pretty sure this will be a one-shot. I hope it's a one-shot. Even though I'm interested in reading it, I hope it's a one-shot. I hope this is an, an ongoing series. We have all new, all different Avengers with the fan fiction world of Miss Marvel. Um, for anybody not reading this comic series, which you really should, it's really fun. Miss Marvel writes her own fan fiction of the Avengers, and she tries to keep it on the down low. 
Her stories are really funny and they're really entertaining. So I'm looking forward to this. I'm pretty sure that this is what it pertains to. Uh, so pretty excited for this to come out. I'm glad that they dedicated a hopefully a one shot uh, comic to her short stories. It also has a bunch of collaborations from a lot of the various writers and artists. So now we move on to the Civil War II titles, the tie-ins. We have all new, all different Avengers number 13. The little nice image of Vision right there. This is a one-shot for sure. It is The Accused. And from what I understand, this is like the look at the trial of uh, Hawkeye. I think this leads up to the trial, and of course it deals a lot with Daredevil and that, you know, aka Matt Murdock. So I'm, I'm interested in seeing what this has to offer. Next we have Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. number 8. Really cool color right there, very, very cryptic. Next we have Kingpin number 2. I was on the fence about this one, then I read issue number one, and I really, really enjoyed it. Very interesting uh, idea that because of the inhuman Ulysses who can see possible futures of criminal activity, it's a very inter it takes a very interesting toll on Kingpin's business. And plus it has the whole Klein element going for it, so I like that. So. Definitely gonna keep on with this one. Next we have number nine on Miss Marvel. Um, I'm just I'm looking strict. I want the tie-ins. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna keep collecting Miss Marvel. I like the character, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep getting this. But I wanted to make sure that I at least get the tie-ins, which I am missing one. I think that's issue number eight. I'm not sure, but. I want the tie-ins, which is why I'm getting this, the Totally Awesome Hulk number 9. Uh, not, not, not necessarily interested in the, you know, in, in collecting this, but again, I want the Civil War tie-in. Then we have issue number 10 of Daredevil, and this is the start of a new story arc, which is called Dark Art. Um, it's killing me that I'm missing issue, issues 1, 2, and 3, because I really want to read this, but I will find them eventually, and then I will get to reading this comic. Then we have issue number 10 of Old Man Logan, which is actually part 2 of The Last Ronin. So, love the simplistic artwork. Next we have issue number 8 of Spider-Man Deadpool. So, I got this is another one I have to catch up on. I am so surprised as to how popular this must be. I found issue number 3, I didn't get it, I didn't need it. Issue number 3, which was our fifth printing. Is this really that popular? I can't believe it. I read the first issue, I liked it. I wasn't really too enthused with it. But once I saw that this series was getting a lot of traction, I decided, okay, I'm gonna have to, you know, check this out. So, I am so surprised as to how popular this is. Now we have number 12 of the All New x -Men. This looks like this should have been released on Valentine's Day. How cute. Uh, next we have an issue that I, I, I swear... I did not need this. I feel kind of done getting it because it's 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 just the retelling of the movie in comic book form. But the artwork is so the cover is so great. I have to show it to you. We have issue number two of Star Wars: The Force Awakens. All it is it is a useless read. All it is is just telling the story in comic book. Form. It's the film completely put on comic book pages. The artwork is cool, 
But this front artwork is gorgeous. I love this artwork. You got a great picture of Ray getting down. You got BB-8, of course. <coughs> you got Finn really showing off with his blaster. blaster. Just got my tongue a little bit. And then, of course, Han and Chewie. Han and freaking Chewie. Got a great image of Kylo. And a very cool image of... Oh, I just touched his chin. Chin. Uh, a very cool image of Cole down the line. This, of course, must have um, the part when Kylo is interrogating him. So, really great cover. The artwork is also pretty cool. Uh, but I know it's useless. But what can you say? I'm a Star Wars fan. I love collecting everything that, that pertains to Star Wars. So, and I got issue one. So what the hell, it's a mini series, I might as well just stick with it. And then lastly, we have a variant. This is from the Death of X variant. This came out, I think, two weeks ago. But thankfully, they held it for me. I just, I love the image of it. It is issue number 10 of the Astonishing Ant-Man. But the variant has my comic book Bay, my comic book crush, Psylocke. And I'm a little sad because obviously she's in pain. She's got a bunch of, you know, arrows inside of her. A bunch of ninja stars sticking to her. Well, poor baby. Look what she has to go through. But I really like the cover. I love it. And, uh, yeah, they held it for me, so I finally got it. So, there you go. Alright, uh, so next I'm going to show you the Undercity comics haul, which pretty light, but it's always light, unfortunately, we, uh, we're loyal to both comic stores, but we get more at Dragon Board, so, thankfully, nobody at Undercity watches my videos, we start out with some indies, uh, apparently, they're continuing on with this series, except it's now, um, you know, the character fighting off a different character, we have Van Helsing versus Frankenstein from Xenoscope Entertainment. And of course they always come with a whole bunch of a whole bunch of variants. But we only got one and that's cover B. So we got cover A, which is really, really cool, and cover B. I still yet to actually check this comic out. It does look good. My sister really likes it. So there you go. Next, we have something that I, I don't even know why I'm getting it. I don't know if I'm going to read it, but I do have the other two. It is a mini series. We have three of four for Prometheus, Life, or Death. Um, I, I, don't, I, have, I have not read any of the other Prometheus comics. I hope they're good. I don't know, but we have this one, so... Then we have a variant of issue number 961, Superman Action Comics. Super awesome badass cover. And this kind of fits in with something I'm going to show you later. But very, very cool cover. Definitely had to get that one. Then we have another variant from issue 938 of Batman Detective Comics. Pretty simplistic, but I can dig it. I like it. Next is another variant, but it's also, uh, I don't know if I'm going to want to collect this comic, but at least if I decide to, I do have this issue, uh, but I don't know, I, I don't know, let me know if it's any good. Red Hood and the Outlaws, is it that? Red Hood and the Outlaws, yeah. Um, I'm interested in reading about the Red Hood, but not necessarily the Outlaws. So, I don't know if it's any good, let me know if you're reading it, uh, but here we got issue number one. Then we got A-Force number eight, that's a really cool cover. Here's a tie-in to Civil War two. really dig that. And lastly, got the shirt, so why not show off the comic? We have Darth Vader 24. Really cool cover, as you can see, we got Padme in the background, so currently, uh, Mr. Vader is doing some reflecting 
Uh, maybe he's feeling a little down, who knows? But this should be a really interesting read. I do have to catch up, I think on on issue number 10, so I, I got a long way to catch up. But, um, yeah, we got another Vader. And I do know that there's only one more Vader comic, and then it's over. I'm going to be kind of sad about that, but, yeah, really looking forward to this, and, uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so, uh, lastly, we're going on 20 minutes. I apologize, I don't know how I went so fast with my last video, but, anyway, um, let me show you what we got. We got one pop, and we have a figurine. Let me show you, I'm going to show you the figurine first. Um, we got this at Geeks, which is just right around the corner from, uh, on the city. And, uh, I, I really did this. Doesn't necessarily look like the actor, but, what are you gonna do? Uh, oh, okay, he's got a Glock. I was wondering what kind of gun he has. He has a Glock. We have John Digo! John Digo! Look at this handsome son of a bitch. Uh, John Diggle with a Glock and Thor hands. He's got a set of hands. I don't know. I really don't know why they give you additional hands. I gotta be honest. I don't see the reason why they they give you hands with these characters. But uh, anyway, I dig it. I like this character a lot. And uh, I love this show. So, looking forward to it. I hope they didn't screw up his character too much with the upcoming season. I wasn't too... I wasn't too thrilled where he went at the end of season four. And lastly, we got a nice little Funko Pop, which is so, so cool. I really, really like this one. It's a Hot Topic exclusive, and we have Clark Kent. Look at that. Clark Kent. To me, this looks very much inspired from Christopher Lee's Clark Kent. But it could be, you know, just a in general look for Clark Kent. But I do love that look at that. He is opening up his shirt to become Superman. This is so cool. It's heavy, too. I don't know what is in here. It's a really heavy pop. Very, very cool. My sister was like, Ah, let me have it. I want it. She loves Superman. And uh, I did this. I'm glad we, we found this and we, we got this. It's really cute. So that is it for the haul. That is it for the collectibles. I've kept you here long enough. Thank you for watching. Like I said, leave down comments. Let me know. I don't know. Talk to me. Uh, and once again, never let anybody tell you too old to collect comments because those people are too busy watching the boring Olympics. I know, the Olympics are, the Olympics are okay, but comics are better. Alright guys, I will see you guys next week, and uh, Clark, you want to take us out? Yeah? Okay. What's up to